Sometimes people don't believe me. Uh, it's true. I don't want to once because that. Uh, you know, well, I don't buy it. I don't buy that you're gay. Like I'm doing it for the parking spaces. <laughs> she pushes on. She goes, "Here's the thing, Will. You don't really read as gay." And that is the other thing. Bitsy said, "Well, you've never seen me read." <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so big. <laughs> I love books. <laughs> the butler did. I'll wait for the movie. Um, but they did. That was it's a mystery. Anyway, um, uh, as a gay man, I feel it's important to educate you guys um, about uh, gay sex. Uh, it's no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. You guys get it. Uh, it's gross. Um, <laughs> I made it for the clothes, that's the only reason. <laughs> but I feel like, like, you know, here's the thing. The homosexual agenda, it's out there. It's a thing, you guys have heard of it, it's true. Um, I don't watch TV anymore because of it. Uh, especially cable television, because uh, cable television really gears itself down to three major different methods. And that's uh, fashion-minded queers, dance-loving queers, and ice road trucking queers. <laughs> Talking behind the scenes, uh, I wrote that joke about four years ago, and uh, I recently got cable again. I was very excited to see that ice road truckers is still on TV. Because <laughs> storage war queer sounds weird. <laughs> Storage war queer. That's a roll off the tongue. Quite. That's nice. I've had a, a fun year. Uh, I just got back from Portland, Oregon. Uh, yeah, it's, if you haven't been, go. It is off puttingly nice in Portland. I don't. I'm, I, I, I'm in, in Boston and like Portland on the street, they're just like, hey, how's it going? And you're like, why? What the fuck? What's your problem? Like, hey, you dropped a $20 bill. Who the fuck are you? What is where am I? Uh, it's very welcoming too. It's just a like, very nice, uh, you know, every sort of uh, gender fluidity is a thing. You know, anyone, homosexual, transsexual, mansexual, pansexual, whatever, it is, whatever it is, it's cool. Uh, I was kind of presented with this this, this idea. Uh, I was walking in a park with four friends of mine, uh, all dudes, We're walking down the hill. Walking up the hill was a group of nine-year-old girls. And one of the nine-year-old nine -year girls stops, looks at us, and goes, uh, "Why are these men?" That's it. That's all she asked. There was, there was no further. I'm like forced to existentially figure it out why it is I'm a man. I'm like, yeah, it is a, gen it's a gender construct. I, it's a choice. I could not be a man. I don't, I don't know why I chose to be a man. You're right. It could be something else. I'm in a fetal position in a park figuring out why it is I'm a man. Um, I think it's to have sex with other men. I, uh, prime directive. I, uh, I also grew this beard in the last year. Um, kind of been a big year for me. Um, I feel like good for you. You're an adult. Uh, here's why it's of note. Three years ago, tried to grow a beard, came in all white. Yeah. Uh, so I googled what might be wrong with me. Uh, I don't recommend ever doing that. Uh, first thing's always death. Second thing that came up said it could be an autoimmune disorder. Okay. Um, so I mentioned I was gay. All right, back in the 80s, there was this thing. Um, <laughs> so 
I like ran to the hospital, like threw a copay, and the secretary's like, see me now. Uh, I get in there, first thing the doctor says, he goes, uh, what do you think is wrong? I'm like, first that question, you're the doctor. But I was so nervous inside, it took all I could not to blurt out, a hopefully not AIDS beard. <laughs> Is that a thing? It's like, I don't think it's AIDS beard, but um, why don't we look up online some causes and cures for this? And I was like, no, why don't you go to your office and come back with some sort of authority? I did this already. I'm not paying to Google shit with you. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't AIDS beard, because um, that's a thing I made up in my head. <laughs> I was happy for two reasons. One, uh, wasn't AIDS beard. Uh, two, I didn't want that to be my Lou Gehrig disease. Uh, but I didn't want that to be known as the Will Smalley forever and ever. Like, hey Santa, what do you get the Will Smalley? No, get off my lap, what is your problem? <laughs> I will leave you guys with this. Uh, you guys do know that AIDS beard is the most feared pirate. <laughs> it was black beard, AIDS beard, and black AIDS beard. You don't want to mess with him. It's uh, Alright, I get it out of here. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you,